This is Pastor Leah from Heart of God Church in Singapore. Today, I'm sharing from Psalms 34, verse 18. It says, The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves such as have a contrite spirit. Now, this verse says God is near to those who are broken. What a blessing. Do you know that God can use our brokenness more than our gifts and talents? Well, life has a lot of hardships and the way we respond is important. You know, our responses can be compared to an egg. If an egg breaks from the outside, life ends. But if an egg is broken from the inside, life begins. You know, great things always begin from the inside. Like an egg, life hatches from the inside. Friends, life will always have external pressures that threaten to break you. If you break from the outside, then life ends because you become fearful, cynical, full of self-pity. Don't let the hardships of life break you down emotionally, spiritually, or mentally. Instead, choose to surrender to the Holy Spirit and be broken on the inside because that is when life begins. In 2012, I had stage 3 breast cancer. I had a choice. Will I break or will I be broken? Do I allow self-pity to break me and complain, Oh God, I've given my life to Pioneer Church and we've built many generations of young leaders. Why God? Why me? Why me? Do I let cancer break me that way? Or do I allow myself to be broken on the inside by the Holy Spirit? Well, I chose to surrender to God. And today, God has added a new dimension to our church. Miracles and breakthrough services were birthed in our church and many people are being impacted. Friends, God feeds the multitude with the brokenness of our lives. The bread has to be broken in the hands of Jesus before it could miraculously feed the people. The anointing only flowed when the alabaster jar was broken. Even Jesus had to allow himself to be broken on the cross for our salvation and healing. Remember, blessings are found in the brokenness. From brokenness come great breakthroughs.